Today Apple's released Xcode 13.4 and Xcode Command Line Tools 13.4, so I figured I'd make a quick video going over what's changed and then how to install and update. So Xcode 13.4 includes the SDKs for iOS, iPadOS, tvOS, watchOS, and macOS. We do have some known issues being reported in the build system in Reality Composer, and then some resolved issues for localization and signing and distribution. Further down in our source control, users can't onboard with an Apple ID that's been upgraded to use two-factor authentication. Workaround, well, of course, Apple ID is just going to recommend that you update to use two-factor authentication. I don't use Git in any kind of team or workflow like that, so it doesn't affect me, but it might affect you and the teams that you're working on. Another resolved issue for Swift, so we have that Closures that are guaranteed to run on the main actor are now permitted to reference local variables from their enclosing scopes that are also running on the main actor. And of course they give you a little example here as well. We've got our Swift packages, resolved issue, and then a known issue for testing. So again, basically nothing new here and just issues being reported or fixed. As far as installing them goes, if you go to developer.apple.com slash download slash all, you'll find the full build for Xcode 13.4 here. You get the DMG, 10 gigs, and you'll also have the additional tools for Xcode 13.4 and the command line tools as well. For our command line tools installation, we can go to our terminal and do our software update minus L. You'll see that we have the 13.4 available as well as Monterey 12.4. So if you wanted to install this individually, you could select this name and run software update minus I and then put in like this. If you don't have the command line tools installed already, keep in mind that you can do your Xcode select dash dash install, which will break on mine, throw it as an error message because I already have them installed. So in my case, I would just run software update. And of course, you have the typical App Store update for Xcode if you don't want to download the full version. Hope you enjoyed the video and have a great rest of the day. Thanks for watching.